From February 2nd through February 9th, a new Tier 10 tank is coming to the assembly shop. Get ready for an interesting and unusual Italian predator. The Lion Vehicles are limited. For those who manage to catch it early, the Lion will be delivered with the Mark I 3D style and a unique individual number. This style pays homage to the vehicle's history. The Lion was effectively a version of the Leopard 1 but featured a number of notable improvements. Although it never made the production line, the Lion paved the way for the future Italian tank industry. And with its 3D style, this vehicle closely resembles its spiritual successor, the OF-40 tank, developed in the late 1970s. In the game, the Lion is hard to master but has great potential. It can be compared to both the Progetto 65 and the Leopard 1. In fact, this new Hunter is almost as fast. It's among the first to take position. Switches flanks quickly and could outrace even the most long-legged gazelle. The Lion's great gun depression angles allow it to run free on the terrain, and its sturdy gun mantlet can withstand some hits, but the rest of its armor is a real treat for opponents. However, our hero's story is not about the armor. It's about a sniper gun with good damage per shot, great penetration, and of course, the auto-reloading mechanism. Four shells with 420 hit points of damage each. Sounds great, right? But there is a catch. First of all, it's reload time. The long reload between shells doesn't allow for rapid attacks. However, with some measured shooting in the magazine mode, you'll always have time to pick the best target. Secondly, the auto-reloading time. The first three shells are reverse auto-reloading, like on the IS-3A. This means the fewer shells in the magazine, the faster they load. So you can easily fire three times without the risk of losing your DPM. And that's awesome, except that it takes an entire 20 seconds to load the final fourth shell. That's something to keep in mind for random battles. In the heat of a fight, you'll always be tempted to unload the whole clip for the sake of damage. But that may cost you dearly. Remember, this shell is literally a reserve shell. It's there to save you in a critical situation. Don't forget about it, but use it wisely. Save it until the end of the battle, when reload time doesn't matter anymore. Or keep it for an unexpected duel. The lion's armor isn't built for surprise attacks. But when they arise, there's only one solution. Go ahead and dish out three shells in nine seconds. But keep your reserve shell. Eight seconds of auto-reloading is much better than 20. And most importantly, do not panic. Just wait for the next shell to load. When the damage is done and the enemy is on its last legs, you can finish them off with your final shell. Of course, anything can happen in random battles. But the Lion has the potential to outshoot plenty of opponents. Even if you ignore the advantages of the magazine and consider the Lion a cyclic tank, you'll still get great damage per minute with the third shell. Plus, you'll have a reserve shell up your sleeve. Still, all this firepower potential isn't without its flaws. The Lion has worse stabilization than the Leopard and Progetto. It's hard to hit targets on the move. The top reverse speed is not the best either, but you can combat these disadvantages with equipment. First, the vertical stabilizer is a must. Then we have the turbocharger and improved aiming. That's how you boost your firepower and mobility. The second setup is for playing from behind the bushes. The stabilizer, coated optics, and low noise exhaust. These will help you cause damage without being detected. The Lion is considered a sniper medium tank for a reason. For most of the battle, it should carefully exercise its damage potential from medium or even long distances. You can use the terrain to your advantage. Combine the firing modes using the first three shells, great damage per minute, good accuracy, and high damage per shot. All without risking harm to your paper-thin skin. 
That is, until you catch sight of your prey. Then, nothing can stop the lion. Don't forget, these tanks are available in a limited quantity. Will you manage to catch the lion? Time to find out. As in the previous launch of the assembly shop, you can assemble the vehicle using bonds, gold, credits, free XP, and blueprint fragments. To increase your chance of getting a numbered vehicle, plan your spending in advance and figure out which resources to use. You can check it out in the game client or the official portal for more information. If you don't manage to assemble the vehicle, all invested resources will be automatically returned to your account. From February 2nd through February 9th, The Lion, the World of Tanks Assembly Shop.